Hi guys, today we're going to talk about selling on Amazon and how to become a seller on Amazon. So we're not going to go into the account setup as much um, because with Amazon it requires you to put a credit card information and all that, but it's a very easy setup once you go in and do it. We're going to talk about how you should decide what's right for you as far as selling on Amazon and a few tips for helping you become successful on Amazon. So one of the first things I wanted to talk about um, is you can sell as a professional, but you also have the option to sell as an individual. You want to decide what's going to be right for you before you even go in to set up your account. Um, as you'll see, there's a $39.99 a month plus additional selling fees for a professional. Now if you sell as an individual, the fees are a little bit different, so we're going to talk about that quickly and then we'll move on. When you sell as a professional, you're just paying that flat $40 a month and any other additional selling fees that might come up. However, when you sell as an individual, you're paying a 15% fee as well as $0.99 cents for each product sold or listing. So if you're selling 40 items consistently every month, this is going to pay for itself. However, if you're not selling 40 items a month and you don't plan to sell 40 items a month, then it's probably better just to sell as an individual. The next thing I want to touch on is fulfillment by Amazon. This is basically where you're going to send all of your products into Amazon and they're going to ship it and handle customer service for you. This is a great load off your back, especially if you're selling a lot of product every month and you're having a hard time keeping up with it. Amazon is going to do all the heavy lifting for you and take care of that so you can focus on your business, your online presence, and everything else that you need to get done in your daily routine. And just as with Facebook, you can boost your posts, your listings here, and get additional visibility. This is a great way to find new customers, um, and it is a business expense, so if you're putting it into marketing, this is a good way to spend some money on some marketing. And since there are so many customers on Amazon, your chances of reaching someone that wants your product is pretty high. A couple cool things about Amazon is that if you are listed as a professional seller in good standing, you can also list products that are not currently on Amazon. Um, so if somebody searched for that product and the only one they find is yours, they're most likely going to buy it. So this is kind of great if you have unique items. And you also want to keep your pricing um, as low as possible. You still want to make a profit, but the lower your pricing is, the higher you're going to rank in a search for something um, that has multiple products because Amazon will typically show some of the cheapest options first. As far as best practices for selling on Amazon, you always want to respond to your customers within 24 hours, so be checking your account every day. Make sure you stay on top of it um, because if you don't answer in 24 hours, that's actually a negative mark against your account. If you choose not to use Fulfillment by Amazon, which you'll sometimes re see referred to as FBA, then make sure you're shipping within one business day and updating with your tracking numbers. This is the best way to keep your account in good standing. You don't want to get behind on shipping. So if you find that you're not able to keep up with your shipping demands, then consider doing Fulfillment by Amazon. Even if you don't do it at first and you start small, but you start growing and you can't handle the shipping demands, Fulfillment by Amazon is a really great way to take care of that issue. Something else that's important to note is that on Amazon, feedback is very, very valuable. So you want your customers to leave feedback whenever they can. Um, so if you either send out a note and a business card with all of your products asking for feedback, that's one good way to do it. Um, you can also use a third-party service to send out emails to all your customers asking for feedback. And that's a really great idea too because it serves as kind of a reminder for your customers to leave feedback for you. And that um, also helps you if you have any negative feedback situations, they'll typically contact you first and you have the opportunity to resolve it. This applies to both seller feedback, which is very important, as well as product reviews. So when you send something out, ask your customers to leave a quick review if they liked it, and that's going to help your search ranking tremendously. And that's really all there is to selling on Amazon and having a successful Amazon business. Once you get signed up, just keep with your best practices and you'll see success in no time.